Hey guys, it's Melissa Rycroft. I'm about to go surprise Tracy. Doesn't know I'm here, but we're gonna talk all things Bachelor. Hey everybody, I'm Tracy. And I'm Andy. And we are back to talk about, honestly, one of the most dramatic episodes. Well, Is this another setup? Nope. Who's here? Jason Mesnick for a second. Yeah? He you has want a to? nerve. Well, kind of. Oh, you oh, and oh. Jason obviously don't talk. You're done. Like, it's. No, we talk all the time. Do you really? No. no. Okay, yeah. That'd be like, no, you're you the most haven't talked to him impressive since. person ever. Uh, since I walked off the stage. <gasps> for oh, real? For yeah. real. Yeah. I have obviously had a few years to think about yeah. what really happened. Right. And I yeah. think that Jason had decided probably a week or two after filming. I just think I really like Molly. However, when we went out on that stage, I had I was wearing a stupid ring. Yeah. I would never have had the ring on my finger if I was like, nope, we're done. I mean, I look right. like an idiot with that thing on my finger. You sweet thing, that's too Yeah, bad. well, that's the thing. Well, did you ever consider being The Bachelorette? Did they ever reach out to you? They, a lot, oh. yes. Um, Hard push, actually, I'm sure. in the limo, I will remember, I'm in the limo going home and I'm crying and they've got the producer and the camera and they stop rolling and she goes, the good news is now you can be Bachelorette. Yay. And I remember that and I was like, you're saying that to me now? Like that's that's really what's gonna help me right now that I just got mortified. And now I still have to go back home and pretend this didn't happen. So oh, people are gonna wow. watch the season, watch me get engaged, and then Oh, you can't say anything. Oh, the <laughs> they timeline were like, hey, Melissa, on that. I'm gonna take your heart. But don't you think you're happier you're not with Oh my gosh. It's the greatest thing it, that's ever happened. It all works out the Perfect. way it's supposed to. Absolutely. Let's oh. talk about this season. What do you think of him? I'm like, I don't know who you are. I can't get to know you. You're not getting to know anybody. Sure and then all answers. of a sudden, he's crying over the balcony. Over the balcony? Hence, a la Jason. Do you feel invested in the season? Do you have some, a woman that you love? I'm trying to. <laughs> who do I love? Who do you love? I love Corinne. Uh, Corinne! She is a mess and a half. And I, I mean, we would not be friends in real life. I've got a decade on her. But. Oh. TV wise, she's fantastic. She's, good TV. she's fantastic. I love to watch her. I'll tell you what though, this one's my pick. Everybody loves Vanessa. I know, right? All right, let's not? talk about Vanessa. She was Vanessa, crying though. on the beach, though, right? Well, they were all crying know. on the beach. Sorry, I gotta be more the specific. beach scene was hilarious. <laughs> I was. It was supposed to be this like scene of like, fun, oh wait, excitement. they're having fun, and then suddenly it was as if like somebody had roofied all the drinks yeah. and they were yeah. just like, the cloud oh, came over the. Oh, oh, oh. are awkward. I don't get what the big deal is with this one where they're like, this is just so weird. Why are we competing for his love? Because you always do that. Isn't right. that what the show? Is? Well, That's what you're doing. Coming out of that, I think he really realized like, oh geez, I gotta pick one of these. This people. is my This loot. is this well, is where I am. Thing. Yeah, and Corinne was like just being like funny yeah. and drunk, like wasn't yeah, bothering. And then until so Jasmine knocked her out. I know her. For we real? cheered for DCC, Dallas Cowboys. Oh, cheering. yeah, she's the answer. <laughs> First of all, she went from, I don't know what's going on. Oh, you got to notice me. You notice me. I'll choke you. You want yeah. me to let, And I went, whoa, That's one you way just to get them really to flipped you. the tables here. Either be crazy or sexy, but you're kind of mixing the two up. I think in between the choking and the Raven killing someone with a stiletto, oh, they got some these thugs. women these girls are, are fierce. Well, and who am I right now? Why does he hold people's hands like this? Did you see? It's always like a hand holding Danielle's hand. Oh, while they, no, while they were walking. She like had his oh. hand curled here he's like a purse. The but then as like, he was doing like the we're about to <laughs> go, he was like. Oh, it's like he's reading their oh. palms. I'm like, what was going on? I yeah. do think that was a surprise. The last we saw them together, I was like, she's in, yeah, she is she, in. And now all of a sudden they were sitting there like, like Christina just spilled her life about like Russian <laughs> prostitution. She's like, but oh, again, oh, he doesn't talk with any of them. Vanessa's definitely very interesting. I like Raven. Daniel M has got to go. Yeah, she's, she's too good. She's, she's too good. Him. She's a little dull for TV though, but she's, she, thank she's you. Good. She's dull yeah. for TV. Let's talk about the tears real quick at the very end. Yeah. Nick's tears. Yeah. Men aren't supposed to cry. I've cried before. You're such a sensitive soul, though. He said goodbye to Danielle, and it's like the tears came because this woman who I thought was gonna be at the end, I just sent her yeah. home. Yeah. I think he really is wondering if this is gonna work for him. Uh, wait, you know what? It's time for me to leave. It's uh, time to start the show. Zena's gotta go to the show. Well, this was really nice meeting you. Thanks for coming by. Nice. <laughs> Bye, Andy. 